Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. Arctic Air, when you need us, we'll be there. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather today. Hey folks, good Monday morning to you and thank you so much for stopping by Tennessee Valley Weather. I'm Ben Luna here in the Weather Center wishing you a terrific day as you start with this forecast update. Hey, made possible by our good friends over at Arctic Air Heating and Air Conditioning. And by the end of this forecast update, some of you may be saying, hey, I need to call Arctic because this week, yeah, is going to feature both ends of the weather spectrum. More on that coming up here in just a moment. So let's start with a recap real quick. Over the weekend, we had a cold front to slide across the area that produced few showers, thunderstorms, early Sunday and then a few spotty showers later in the day. Now that activity is on the south end of our viewing area this morning, some kind of a little stretch of unsettled air. So therefore, I'm gonna have on the seven day forecast a chance for a few little spotty showers south of the Tennessee River. This is still our viewing area, so we do have a chance for a few of those showers continuing for just a short time this morning. I don't think that's with us all day by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, say by around nine o'clock, those chances really pull on further south and our area clears out really, really nice entirely. Mostly sunny skies here as we head toward the midday. Maybe a few more clouds in during the afternoon, but overall Monday looking just fine for this week. Temperatures on the cooler side, you'll really feel that today as well. And then by tomorrow, one end of that spectrum that I was telling you about a minute ago, you're gonna feel it by Tuesday morning. Notice midday temperatures across the area, low 80s to upper 70s. I think most everybody will top out at least in the low range of the 80s for daytime highs. That's gonna be kind of the happy medium for today's average high. And then overnight, check out what happens. Temperatures will be cooling off significantly across the area, enough so that some of these numbers in outlying areas, yeah, we're gonna be in the low 50s here for tomorrow morning. I'm not going to go any further than that, but you know how low haulers are across parts of the area? Yeah, I think it's going to be chilly to start the day Tuesday, to say the least. And in turn, tomorrow is going to be a cool, dry day. I think you'll really enjoy how Tuesday is going to look across the area. A few clouds around here for your Wednesday. We are dry this week, though, and that will continue to be reflected all the way through Thursday and Friday. Now, as far as any substantial moisture is concerned, really nothing on the, uh, the proverbial radar here for the next several days. There might be one or two little pop-up showers to occur on later in the week on the south side of our viewing area again, but really that's a stretch at this point. The takeaway, things are gonna be very cool, at least for tonight and tomorrow, and then we are gonna be in a dry state here for several days, and that's when mom nature really starts to turn the heat up, especially for the latter half of the week. Today, here's how it's going to shape up. Temperatures making that nice warm up uh, on average for this afternoon. Again, low range of the 80s with plenty of sunshine in play, especially after lunch. That average high today there at 82. Now keep in mind that chance for a few showers will be predominantly south of the Tennessee River. For the rest of the week, I think we're looking just fine. Temperatures cool for tonight, tomorrow, Wednesday morning as well. Wednesday, that's where we start to really phase back up into more seasonable temperatures. And then by Thursday and Friday, check this out, the low range of the 90s. And some forecast models are really trying here to warm that even higher as we get closer into that time frame. So we'll have to watch that and see how it plays out. I'll leave you with a final look at the seven day forecast. As always, thank you so much for stopping by Tennessee Valley Weather. You can watch Kelly today at noon and Fred Gossage live at five. Have a blessed Monday and thanks again for watching the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel.